Hello, party people. It is Will Pemmel. It is, uh, I don't know, it's like in the morning on the weekend here, and I wanted to give you a bit of an update because we've been doing some cool stuff, just not a whole lot of it has been particularly interesting to do on the video, and so I'm afraid what we're stuck with today is me just giving you a bit of, a, a bit of an update. So, here's where we're at. I was digging through the garage the other day because one of the things that we want to do, obviously, the first part of the the first part of this project is to is to get that launch going, and we've got about less than 20 feet of track to get a cart that won't weigh more than 400 pounds, but it's not going to weigh a whole lot less than 400 pounds, right? With a little teeny passenger, like a little kid on it, it's going to be 200, and with a grown up, it might be 300, 350, and so we're figuring for 400 pounds. How do we get? 400 pounds of cart from zero miles an hour to about 21 miles an hour in about 10 or 15, maybe 20 feet. We have a small amount of space to do that. So what does that mean? We did a video with uh, Will from London about a pneumatic launch, which seems a pretty straightforward, awesome way to do it. Um, next week, we're going to talk to the amazing George from Super Magnet Man. And if you haven't checked out the Super Magnet Man YouTube channel, please go do because it's awesome. George does incredible things with big, strong magnets and electromagnets. He and I have had a couple of conversations on the phone and we've talked about magnetic launches and magnetic braking. And so that's a really exciting, cool thing. If we decide to use electromagnets for launching the coaster, we're gonna need to control it with a lot of things. We're gonna need microcontrollers. And as you may know, my favorite microcontroller is the Arduino Uno. It's absolutely wonderful. You can do all sorts of cool stuff. Microcontrollers run the entire world. Um, so this is just a little bitty controller, a little bitty computer that we can program and we can teach it to do things like launch a series of electromagnets or power a series of electromagnets maybe 100 milliseconds apart or something like that so that basically the cart would just ride a wave of electromagnetism and that's how those magnetic launch coasters work. Again, I don't know nearly enough about it. George is going to teach us more about it. Uh, but what I thought I would do um, in advance of that conversation is to start doing some programming, start writing some Arduino software so that our little Arduino, our little microcontroller will be ready to do things like launch our coaster. And that would require, that would mean taking our little Arduino and hooking it up to this thing, which is just like a little relay. This is just a, a switch, basically a light switch. And we can have a row of these relays, which would connect to our electromagnets. And that's how we would, that's how we would power our magnets, which would push the coaster without ever touching it. And so I'm like, it's, it's like magic. I'm very excited about this. So, Relays are gonna be one of the pieces of our electronic control system. Here is a little bitty, see it? It's a little bitty magnetic sensor that we can use to control different parts of the track. And so imagine the cart, oh, I don't know, here's a piece of cart. Here's an old piece of wheel assembly from an old coaster. So imagine our cart is rolling along and passes over this little magnetic sensor, we can, we can teach the system to do things based on where the cart is on the track. And this is how, this is how we would maybe raise a magnetic fin as part of our eddy current braking, which might happen, and we haven't talked about that. Learning more next week from George about eddy current uh, drag braking. What else? Uh, if we want to raise a fin, um, an aluminum fin, if you think like accelerator in, at Knott's Berry Farm, you'll see these big fins come up and down based on where the, uh, where the cart is or where the train is on the track. That uses a thing called a stepper motor. Now this is a significantly smaller stepper motor than we would need on our coaster, but basically it has 360 steps. And so this little piece of it just turns and you can program this motor to turn as much or as little as you want. So you hook a little gear to the stepper motor, you hook a little chain to the gear, you hook a little another gear, and then we can move our, our aluminum fin up and down in the track based on the location of the cart, which we could determine by this magnetic sensor 
Another thing that we can use with Arduino stuff, which is really awesome, is this little ultrasonic sensor. And basically what this does is it sends a bit of sound out, sound bounces off of something, and it comes back, and what happens is it knows how fast and how far something is. And so we could mount an ultrasonic sensor on our tracker, a number of those, and then as the cart approaches it, we know something is happening, and that would then actuate the stepper motor because software raise the fins, slow the cart down, and then when the cart passes, it maybe lowers. Or, or on the launch, when we launch the thing, we would want the fin to be down, and then as soon as the cart passes, again, maybe using our magnetic sensor or our ultrasonic or whatever, then as soon as the cart passes that part of the track, the fin would go up, and then that would maybe serve as our, our rollback protection, our braking system. So there's a million different things you can do there's more than a million things you can do with Arduino microcontrollers and all of that. And, and what it requires is that I kind of push out of my comfort zone in terms of what we're building and how we're building it. That's gonna be the crucial key from my perspective, being willing to learn things like machining tools. That's actually why I brought this, uh, why I brought this old piece of wheel assembly out here, is this I just dragged out of the garage. So, so the old wheel assembly here, it's really strong and really, really, really strong. And it's built out of, and so this, this is where the rail would go, right? And so if you imagine, uh, you look at some old videos, you'll see where this thing came from. But what it's made of is just cut steel tubing, square steel tubing, and weld it together. And so basically what I used for this was uh, a metal chop saw and a drill press and a welding machine and that's how I built this thing. What I want to do for the next one, and it's heavy man, I mean this is like, uh, it's got to be like 30, it's got to be 20 or 30 pounds, uh, this, this big guy here. Um, what I want to do for the next one is, and I'm actually going to use these same wheels because I have a giant collection of uh, skateboard wheels. But um, what I want to do for the next one is I want to see if I can get myself, I've got, some, I've got some like American Express points from a lot of travel I've been doing, and so I'm wanting to see if I can maybe find myself a nice little metal mill that's big enough to do, maybe mill some of these parts. And so we can have these beautifully machined parts of our wheel assembly, like you see on the fancier coasters, instead of my... Uh, awesome but admittedly amateur wheel assemblies that I'm that I'm building just kind of like chopping and grinding stuff together I'd like it to be a little bit more elegant if we're if we're taking the time to do this incredible electro magnetic computer controlled you know much more intelligent than anything I've ever built system if we're gonna do that it seems to me we should maybe make the actual structure of it, the mechanics of it, a little bit more elegant as well. And so I'm gonna be reaching out to people that I know who do machining and see what I can learn about that. People I know who've got like these awesome machine shops. We'll see if we can get some help along those lines as well. But um, so, this is, so this is kind of like the best I've done so far in terms of building a wheel assembly. I wanna see if I can take that up several notches for this next one. So, um, yeah, so if you've got suggestions about what kind of milling machine I should use, right? Now keep in mind that we've got like an incredibly low budget for this. We can't go, uh, we can't go spend a jillion bucks on uh, hardware because, you know, then I, I get in trouble at home because I'm spending a lot of time and money uh, goofing around with uh, really expensive toys that I, that I don't use all day every day. So anyway, suggestions what kind of milling machine would you use if you had to pick a little milling machine? What kind of metal lathe if we wanted to be able to do round, beautiful things? Uh, I'm like super stoked, man. There's nothing I would like more than to have a metal lathe and a metal mill in the garage. It would be just, I, I don't know that I'd ever leave the garage anymore if I did. But tell me your suggestions. So there's a whole lot going on. Unfortunately for the channel, there's not a whole lot that's going on that's super, super visual, right? And so I'm sitting here with my little visual aids trying to keep it lively as I can, but we're mostly thinking in this part of the project. 
what kind of launch system do we want to use? I think we can make electromagnets come true as a launch system, and I think we can do that relatively inexpensively. Stay tuned. What kind of control system do we want to use? Because if we're using electromagnets, then we're counting times in milliseconds, which means we need computer control. Um, I love Arduino stuff. I love writing Arduino code. Uh, I'm not great at it, but I love to do it. And so any suggestions you can make on microcontroller code, love to hear those suggestions. See those in the comments. Uh, this is one of the most interactive channels on YouTube in terms of people who really, really contribute awesome content and awesome ideas, and I couldn't do any of it without you. So that's another one. What kind of little different attachments and bits and pieces should we attach to our um, awesome Arduino controller system? So that's where we're at with the Backyard Launch Coaster. It's still an awesome project, and I'm really excited about it. I wish I had more visual stuff to show you, but right now we're still kind of in the thinking and planning, and I'm trying to gather as much information from as many brilliant people as I can on this one so that we do it really, really well and really thoughtfully. Uh, thank you for helping me bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. I'm Will Pemble, and I'll see you soon.